I'm like, maybe. Yes. It's okay. Cool it says live. It does say live. Yes. Cool. It says live now, we're going. Pull it up on your phone. That is my phone. Don't pull it up on your phone. Don't pull it up on your phone. Hold on. I'll pull it up on my phone. I got it too. You got it to need my phone. So yeah, I'm trying to pull it up here. Okay. Oh why? Don't say we're live. It told me we were. Yes. Four people. Five people. Seven people. Sorry, trying to pull it up, but it's not showing me alive. Oh, I see it. Well, I see you. Why can I not see it? Doesn't want you to see you yourself. You know, the one that needs the comments. Yeah, the, the last live, all it's showing is how to start the live. There I am. Holy Hannah. <laughs> Suck that fat patch in. <laughs> All right, so I hope, uh, disclaimer, I'm not a teacher, but I will talk to you about things that I know about. Um, I do expect participation, so if I ask you a question, please answer. Um, no. <laughs> I'll do the best I can. Okay. Uh, today we are learning about the Norse Pantheon. This, I don't know. I stand over uh, here, is it good? Or? You can kind of see it, it's really faded, but I did oh. my best, it was our darkest color. You don't have black? No. Okay, well, anyway, so this is part of the family tree, uh, not all up. So we are going to go over, sorry, uh, the Asir and the Veneer. So the Norse Pantheon, uh, covers two distinct sections. We have the Asir, which are like the gods, and then the Veneer, who are gods but lower, okay? Um, so what happened is basically they have these two factions, right, that warred and warred and warred. Um, they were just at each other's throats, basically. And then one day they decided, oh, this isn't helpful. And so they then joined together um, and, and made one pantheon instead of two. Okay. Any comments? Can you see comments? Yep. Amy says hi. Brent Graham says hi. Hey. Hey, y'all. Okay. So the Asir, um, you guys have probably heard of the big ones uh, Odin, Frigg, Thor, Baldur, or Baldur, Baldur. Bother, bother, bother. <laughs> and tear. <laughs> okay. Um, there are a lot more than that. So the giants. Why do you put giants? Because they're titans. Go for it. Okay. So it says giants, but um, it's the titans. The titans were the beginning of it all. Okay. Um, and your titans are. Ready for these names? Angerboda? Sure. Angerboda. Mm -hmm. Okay. Parvati? Mm -hmm. I don't know. This is not how I'm saying it, but this is how I'm saying it. Lefay. Lefay. Aegir. Aegir. And Ron. <laughs> and Ron. Yeah, Should have Ron. like a little yeah. accent yeah. So, <laughs> so people don't say Ran. Yeah, it's Ron. And I, I know that that one is, that I, is being said correctly. <laughs> but that's, that's to superimpose English over the top right. to say ran. Oh. And uh, none of this is English, therefore it's all sorts of messed up. <laughs> Hold on one second. Oh my gosh. Oh, my dog's daughter is watching. <laughs> this thing just like went super crazy over my face. No, like it, my glasses usually hold it down enough that it doesn't fog them up. Mm -hmm. It totally just did. Okay. I'm on, so I gotta is a dumbass a goat? Because I did this all from a picture. Because it looked like a 
Yeah. A goat pod, beautiful. Now, Loki's sibling, it looks like from here, it looks like it says it's a horse. <laughs> it is a horse. That's not Loki's sibling, that's Loki's uh, bedmate. Spouse. Yeah. Right. Spouse. <laughs> and this is their child. Yes. How's that pronounced then? That's a horse. It is. It's really a just, horse. it says a horse. horse. Just yep. a random horse. Just one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to visualize that. Okay, okay so late. we'll start from this end. Um, Ron is the goddess of the, um, she's the personification of the sea. Okay, so um, this is her husband, Aegir. Yep, mm -hmm. um, and he also uh, personifies the sea. Okay, they have nine daughters. Okay, nine. Who are the waves? Okay. Um, do you want me to try to pronounce them? It's going to be terrible, but I will. It's him and Liva. Mm -hmm. Dupa. <laughs> is that a D or is that an O-L? D. Okay. Vladuhaga. Vladuhaga. Hada. I'm sorry. Hefring. Udir. Ron. 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 Some would draw. Black. Bilgia. Bilgia. Drofin and Kolga. I like. Holy. I like Kolga. Holy cow. Drofin. I kind of like that name. Yeah. If I had another daughter, you know. Dufa. 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 Okay. Um. So, uh, she is frequently associated with like a net, which she uh uses to capture um seagoers. So if you're swimming, if you're a sailor, if you're out fishing, things like that, she likes to capture, yeah. Okay. Um, according to um, the introduction in the, uh, um, in the Poetic Edda um, and in the saga, she once gave her, um, her net over to Loki uh, so he could cause some mischief. So that's kind of why she's important. Um, so it means her name is plundering or theft or robbery or taking of some sort, okay? His name is giving, basically what it means. So um, they're like the, the yin and the yang. Or the I was gonna say yin and yang. Yin and yang. Yeah, so they balance each other perfectly. She wants to take and he wants to give. So um, for, uh, for her, Sorry guys, I made notes instead of making a PowerPoint because I suck at those. Um, so she doesn't really have anything to do with the um, Old Norse rule, okay? Um, that's where you get into like Odin and things like that. Um, but people tend to forget about these guys a lot. Um, the Skalds use her name um, when they refer to the sea a lot. Um, so, Ron's land, Ron's hall, Ron's way, things like that. Um, and it's just basically because she is of the sea. Okay. Um, now let's go. Ooh. Sorry, you guys. You have to actually say this name. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> <Some ways off. laughs> Sounds Scandinavian to me. Okay. Barbuti. Mm, it's not Bar that sound at all. I bet. <sighs> okay, hold on. Let me see if this one will tell me how to actually say it. No, nope, it doesn't tell me how to say it. Anyway, so um, he <laughs> is, as you can see, the father of Loki, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then the mother of Loki. Um, anyway, his name okay. is also the name of um, one of the moons for uh, Saturn. Oh, really? One of Saturn.
modern foods. Um, so he is dangerous striker or sudden striker or anger striker. He, he's angry, he's full of hostility. Um, he really just wants to uh, kind of make everyone leave him alone. And if not, he's that grumpy old man that says like, get off my grass, <laughs> right? Um, the only time that you would ever try to really like bring him in is for vengeful reasons. So uh, I, I would leave him alone. Uh, <laughs> Let me get the I thought Garrett was going to join us. He never he does. does. He's mean. He doesn't say Lofty. So, Lafave. Lofty. She's also known as Nal. As well. N A L. You all know. The mother of Loki, okay? Um, so, she. Um, is all about kinship and togetherness. So, once again, they're, you know, the opposites attracting the yin and yang of Norse. Yin and yang, did I say it right for you this time? The yin and the yang, <laughs> uh, which you'll see actually quite often uh, with a lot of the pairings. They are like polar opposites, but they complement each other really, really well until they murder each other, because that happens a lot. Um, <laughs> Thailand, real. Hello, <laughs> Shona. She's watching. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, um, Loki is also sometimes known as Loki uh, LaFay's son. So, that's kind of his whole, his whole thing. Um, so, rather than uh, like Loki, son of Barbuti, he would be daughter or son of. Birth. Hi, Jody. <coughs> Jody, who? Samantha Pikins. Hello. Hello. Um, however, okay, so she wants togetherness, but she is huge on war. Okay. So, but war for a meaning. Um, war for a just cause, not war because war sounds fun. Does that make sense? So, Loki, where was that? Oh, I guess we'll go here first. I can never spell the name. Who? Wait here? Maybe. Did I spell it? Um, her name. So she is the aunt of Loki, right? She's also one of Loki's many um, partners. Okay. So, y'all, I'm pretty sure we said this was gonna be messed up. Yes. Okay. Right? So, Hi, Sue. <laughs> Hi, Sue. Um, she's only mess it, uh, mentioned once in the sagas, um, and that's because she has a child who is not on here. Uh, named Fenrir. Oh, well, I know that name. I've heard of that. What is it? Uh, Fenrir. Fenrir Greyback. That's oh shoot, shoot, shoot. Fenrir. Oh, you're going to Harry Potter stuff. Yeah, that's something else entirely. Okay. <laughs> Jesse knew right away. What? I don't know. I don't he's know a wolf. That. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah, he's a wolf. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about because I don't. No, you don't Harry Potter. Pothead, but, um, you don't know any Harry Potter. I really don't. I've well, never seen a thing. Harry Potter show, read a Harry Potter book. Well, in the book, she has to be a wolf with that name. Oh. Yeah. Is it Fenrir? In the it is Fenrir, but what? that's where it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, anyway, yeah. so the only time that she is ever, ever mentioned in any of their sagas, because there are lots of them, um, but in the Poetic Edda, that's like the saga, mm -hmm. I guess, mm -hmm. uh, or one of one of the two. Anyway, um, that's the only time she's mentioned is because she's Fenrir's mother. Mother. Fenrir is actually a class of bruiser as well. Is what? Sorry. Fenrir, it's like a, yeah, it's a wolf. It's like a dire but, wolf, basically. Yep. Yep. Um, uh, full name uh, translated is like Fenrir the Grey Back. Um, yeah, anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to Loki. Loki, what do we know about Loki? He's trouble. Mischief. 
Mischief? Love, loves being in mischief, loves to cause it. Loves to so, sit the pot. <laughs> Loki is the trickster. Okay, that is what he knows, <coughs> what he's known for. Um, I killed him. He's, he's not always um, the trickster for bad reasons. Sometimes he can actually show good traits, okay? Um, not often though, so most people know of Loki as, if you wanna go in terms of bad or good, or evil or good or whatever, he would definitely be on the bad side, right? Chaos. But not always. What? Chaos. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's chaos, yeah. Anyway, so um, Loki was kind of a, how do I say? Jackass? No. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Okay, Loki was a whore. Uh, I was trying to figure out a polite way to say that. There's no That's the polite way. There's no polite way. <laughs> Apparently. Promiscuous, yeah. Okay, uh, and <laughs> Loki didn't care about gender. Loki didn't care about so he's race. Fluid. Loki didn't care about species. species. Uh, he's, he's a uh, metrosexual. Right? Yeah. Uh, uh, to the, some weird stuff. He's, he, he's just. Serpents. Yeah, yeah. So, so. Siren, I guess. We got. If you want to go yeah. here and here, then you have Fenrir, right? Fenrir's a, 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 wolf. a wolf. If you go here and here, he had sex with a, with a horse. It, they made slick near. Uh, <laughs> and then with. Uh, one of Ron's daughters, and I can't remember which one right in a second, they had basically a siren. It's a serpent, but a siren is what mythology would call it. So he has sex with anything that with a pulse. And some things without. Oh. <laughs> he, there's actually a story in the uh, Poetic Edda about um, him in a tree. So That oh. came to mind. It really did. Yeah. I thought, how um, you... Yeah, I, that sounds painful. Slivers. So, oh, right. <laughs> the size of the knot hole. Yeah. I mean, one of my favorite uh, memes. I see you some sandpaper. <laughs> anyway, so um, Loki was not originally part of the Asir, um because he's not a god. Uh, Supposedly. Anyway, there's a lot of different things. But he was part of the Vanir, um, which I guess I could spell that. that I was going to say, can we get. Oh, okay. I have to figure out exactly how they are. Give me one Please. second. Because that'll piss me off if I do it wrong. Yeah, yeah, me too. Because I already did it wrong. I'll look it up wrong. Okay. Ready? Oh, I've seen that. And this goes here. A sphere? Ah. I've seen that. And then. Oh. Is there all classes of ship in Battlestar Galactica? So I'm very familiar with it. <laughs> Battlestar Galactica. Okay, so. He was not part of the Asir. Uh, that was Odin, Frigga, the, the ones I was talking about before, um, until they you know, combined because they got sick of warring, which is not really the whole mythology to it. But that's the quickest way to explain that. Okay, so he is very much looked down upon. Um, and so therefore, his tricksterness, his chaos, his mayhem, his things like that are kind of amplified. Okay. He, he wants to be revered like the rest of them, and he's just not. He's looked at almost like a second-class citizen, so he very much amplifies the bad parts, or the parts that are less desirable, right? Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> okay, so let's go, where are we gonna go? How about, okay, well, we'll go to Odin. All right, let me pull my section on Odin up because it's the biggest. <laughs> Serious. Oh, yes. Okay, so 
Odin is the all father, right? He is everything. Like he is the one that brought us the runes. Um, he is the one that sacrificed himself um, to Yggdrasil. Yeah, I can never say it correctly. Yeah. Why is he personified by a raven or a crow, like a big black bird? Um, okay, so like, there are a couple of reasons. To speak to him. Or? Well, yes. Yeah, so um, ravens and crows are messengers. Um, as well as um, sometimes they can personify like death or darkness, um, and he is the awful, he's also the god of war, right? So war, death, darkness, and then he has to get messages to people. Uh, but they also say that um, while he was in Brazil, gosh, why can't I say that, you guys? That's how I say it. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. You're you're probably right. I probably not. Okay. I never say things right because I I read it phonetically, and ninety percent of these you cannot read phonetically. <laughs> um, <laughs> just like Egyptian as well. <laughs> anyway, um, that one of the messages that he received in order to get the wisdom to make the runes, right, was from a crow. So, um, okay, so Odin, he, uh, as with Loki, was a whore. Okay? Um, he is associated with wisdom, poetry, and magic. Okay? Uh, so he has a lot of different things. So how, how you have it here is very weird. It kind of almost looks like he has sex with Thor. He's married to Thor? No. Well, that's kind of how it looks. Follow the top line and then go to the little dash coming down as to where he gave child. Well, yeah, but. I see dash. what Jesse did. Oh, OK, it. so it's. It. Oh, so you're putting Sif and, and Odin and then Sif and Thor. Yes. <laughs> Oh, the whole Got it. Uh, and then Jordan Odin, and yeah. they made Thor. Yes. Okay. Triple Sorry, I do not follow this very well. Okay. <laughs> um, Odin had a lot of concubines, maybe? Let's go with that word. Um, some like to say that he was strictly heterosexual, but he was not. Um, there is a lot of uh, different things out there, parts of the sagas, um, parts of the poetic era um, that actually talk about him um, having a homosexual relationship. Um, and however, the thing that's really difficult about Norse is that they were a very oral group, so um, there wasn't a whole lot written. Right? And so a lot of the things have been like kind of pieced together. So they're a little bit different or difficult. Okay, so Odin and Jorn had Thor. Followed your thing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so are you saying that all of these guys together have Heimdall and Jorn? Please help them out, Gwen. I did my best. So all these chicks got together and made some babies. <laughs> Okay, where did you find this? I would. <laughs> I looked at like twelve different images. So nine sisters are mother of one baby. Two. Two. Two, Two. Two sisters. Jordan Heimdall. Okay. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's see if I can find one. Mm -hmm. uh, I couldn't find any that were readable. which is exactly what you're kind of on. Yeah, you can pull all of them little tab marks and put Yeah, but you have them as having Jorg as well. Maybe it was the one that was really close to that one. Okay, anyway, so um, Loki's serpent one, <laughs> okay, is. Good luck pronouncing that. Shermungan. Ooh. Close? Jormungand, sure. It's J O R M U N G A N D. Where's that on the board? And then Hell on as well. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'll put it on the board. Okay. Um, 
these two together. Isn't it easier just to call it the Midgard Serpent? Yes, but. That's technically not So, did venereal diseases exist with these people? No. Yes, <laughs> probably. I started with them. Right on <laughs> the floor, I, I thought the, with the sexuality, it depended on what role you were playing, whether you were. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As yep. To whether it was homosexual or whether you were just well enough. Right. Yeah. Well, like with Loki and um, a horse. Um, <laughs> Loki was the mother. Okay. What? Yeah, yeah. So. Um, and then he could completely shape shift. So he's so. like an amphibian? One? Yeah. Uh, like frog. Or like a, not asexual, but what is that word? Um, um, maybe it is asexual. Like it is. Where, where they can, can swap yeah. gender depending, yeah. depending on what they need well, to be. Well, I hear, I hear a breed of frog because frogs can be that. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yes. Asexual. So frogs can be that. We learned that in Jurassic Park. Okay. Did we get all the way there? I did my best with it. No, Nurses you did. Not my you did. <laughs> Okay. There's a lot of it. Yes. Okay, so you got Brigitte Oda. Okay, and then Nana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it have Nana. Sorry. These two. Is this how you're doing it? Yes. Oh. That, that's a couple. Yeah. Of, yes. Okay. Thank you. I don't do birds of light. They do birth to, okay. and then we have. Uh, we need a bigger board. That's what I was gonna say. I must to sift. Hi, Crystal. Holy Hannah Montana, for and you guys took a picture of this, right? And I can go on. Before you added stuff. But yeah. Now we need to take a new picture. I can do that though. See. I can fix that. <laughs> I have a question while we're taking a picture. Yeah. Oh. Okay, see. Jeez. Sorry. Professor. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I'll be making some edits. So, why um, Odin has Freya, right? Okay. Uh, now, I've seen her name pronounced differently several times and pronounced differently, spelled differently. Mm -hmm. I wondered, is there a reason for that? Well, there are a couple. So, sometimes there are the name is really, really close, but they're actually talking about a completely different person. Right. And it also depends on which mythology you're going for or which right. pantheon. So right. um, if you go Freya in Celtic, um, that's a completely different person than Freya in Norse. Um, and then there's like um, Freyr, which is really, really close to it, right? right. And it's missing what, one letter? <laughs> it's one letter different. Yeah. It's her brother. Um, mm -hmm. This is so, why I was confused. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of them that are really close together, but they're usually actually different people. With Freya, um, Freya is um, a lot of times confused with Frigg because some people call, say, Frigga instead of Frigg, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then Freyr and, Fre and Freya are very much confused. Um, and then, like, who else is confused? Um, Tyr gets confused all the time with. Depending on who you're talking to. Yeah. So it's, they didn't have much of a language, right? Like I said, they were an oral culture. Tradition. So um, they, I think a lot of people just like, okay, this kind of sounds right, and kind of just put it together like that. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. So. It's like St. Nicholas and Santa Claus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, perhaps. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Yeah. Um, okay, so if I, let's see. Let's go, let's finish up, finish up with these ones really quick. Ha, huh, really quick. And then, um, hold on, I have to step away for a second. Hello. Uh, for what? Oh, yeah, yes. Sorry, you guys, give us just one yeah, second. You scared the crap out of me. I knew you were kayaking on Ozzy, and when Abby is calling me, that scared the crap out of me. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, it did. You should be just fine. Okay, well, that's 
Oh my goodness. Well, I had a really bad dream <laughs> um, that about Kazi, because Kazi in Utah has like the worst undertones. Mm -hmm. um, and so I was, I had a dream like a week before she went, before I knew that that's where they were going. Mm. Um, and they were kayaking and cliff jumping and paddle boarding and anyway, it scared mm -hmm. the crap out of me. And then that's where they're at. And I get a call from her friend, yeah. not from her. So. Give mom a heart attack, yeah. Yeah. Especially with that one. That one always gives me a heart attack. <laughs> but yeah, I am everything. Okay. Where were we? Okay. So um, we did, we already did those to Thor. Okay. Um, Jordan. Let me pull my thing on. Jordan. It is pronounced Yord. 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 So Y's are, or I mean J's are Y's. <laughs> Jord sounds cooler. Um, <laughs> so she is a giantess and she is seldom uh, mentioned at all. Uh, she doesn't really have an active part in any of the tales. <laughs> she's only referenced in passing as Thor's mama. Um, and she's the daughter of Not and, and Anar which is night and another. Mm. So, um, she is also called Fold or Grund in the Eddic and Skaldic poetry. Um, and these, they basically all mean earth, so mother earth, okay? There, there's her, hold on. R is the fictional character that is part of Marvel. Oh. <laughs> With the R is who it's based off of, which is the, the Norse deity. I was like, why is that wrong? So he is all seeing and all hearing, and he is the sole protector of Asgard. And he's got lots of mamas. No daddy. Lots of mamas. <laughs> There's got to be, right? Maybe I don't know. Now, these are this is North Norse, or or uh, even just you know in the in the God realms. So who knows? Maybe his mom's a tree. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. There must have been some sort of immaculate conception. Hey, you know what? Yeah, he's the son of nine mothers, also known as the Waves. Bam. <laughs> I was right. You are right. Okay, who are we on? Enjoy the. <laughs> Dude, this class could seriously, just to go through half um, of it, mm -hmm. would be like two hours to go through all of it. Just even their name and what they slightly mean, right? Yes. Um, where are we at? I'm dull. Or... <laughs> no, I, I just, uh, I'm duller. I, I just talked about it. I know. That's where we left off. Yeah. We oh. didn't pick a spot to go from there. Yes. Okay, uh, so Odin. I went to Thor. Do I have to go over Thor? I only know Thor from the movie. I'm not a fan of Thor. <laughs> only because he was so blown up as such a great hero. And no, his, his hammer's name is? Mjolnir? Mjolnir. Sure. MJ. Mjolnir? I know it as She Mjolnir. knows it. She just uh, Just from the movies. Yeah, I can't spell it. Mjolnir. So I found out this cool new thing uh, from my kids. So I'm not very big on technology, but I found out from my kids that um, if you go into a doc, like a PDF or a Word doc or something, and you hit F4, you can type in what you're looking for and it goes right to it. Do you know how amazing that is? Wow, <laughs> I adore you. So a 67 page thing, I no longer have to scroll through the whole thing to find what I want. I can type in the top right, what I want and it takes me there. Okay, 
Maybe it's just me that's really excited about that. I would be excited. I, I would be happy too. All I had to type in for this was MJ. Yeah. And it's like, this is how you spell it. Didn't say that. I wish it would. That would be very helpful, actually. <laughs> so that's his his hammer. Um, what do you guys know about his hammer? Only he can pick it up. It's uh, dwarves. Yeah. Loki was messing with the dwarves as they were pumping the bellows so that um, I guess he was the gadfly or something standing in the them. Yep. Uh, it, for some reason or another, they let it get too cold and they handled on it being too short, but other than that, everything it was supposed to do with work. Mm -hmm. um, can I repeat that? Because I don't think anybody watching could hear it. No? Yeah. Loki the trickster, while the dwarves were making, say it. Mjolnir. There you go. Mjolnir. <laughs> Mjolnir. <laughs> I know that's not correct, you guys. Please don't shoot me through the video. Anyway, while the dwarves were making it, Loki was messing with them. They let it get too cold, um, and the handle is too short, or was made too short. That's what was said. If you couldn't hear, yeah, yeah. I don't recall the reason why he was. Because he's Loki. <laughs> well, there was some kind of a contest or something. Mm -hmm. I don't remember if he was trying to sway it in his favor. Or... I don't recall. He was just kind of a jackass. <laughs> Loki. <sighs> hmm. Okay, here is the story, and I will read it to you. Okay, so one day, Loki the trickster found himself in an especially mischievous mood and cut off the gorgeous golden hair of Sif, the wife of Thor, who was a consort of Odin. Anyway, <laughs> when Thor learned of this, his quick temper was enraged, and he seized Loki and threatened to break every bone in his body. Loki pleaded with the thunder god to let him go, um, to the cavernous home of the dwarves and see if those master crafts people could fashion a new head of hair for Sif, this one even more beautiful than the original. Thor allowed this and off Loki went. There he was able to obtain what he desired. The sons of the dwarf, Ivaldi, forged not only a new head of hair for Sif, but also two other marbles. It's good Lanier. What? Hmm. It's it's literally skid blah near uh, which was assembled from the thinnest pieces of woods, the best uh, which is the best of all ships. Yep, um, uh, which always has a favorable favorable win and can be folded up and put into one's pocket, and then gungnir, which is the deadliest of all spear spears. So having accomplished his task, Loki was overcome by an urge to remain in the caves of the dwarves and revel in more recklessness. He approached the brothers, Brookir and Sindri, or Metalworker, and Spark Sprayer, respectively, um, and taunted them, saying that he was sure the brothers could never forge three new creations equal to those the sons of Ivaldi had fashioned. In fact, he even bet his head on their lack of ability. Um, they accepted his wager. As they worked, a fly, who of course was none other than Loki in disguise, stung Sindri's hand. When the dwarf pulled his creation out of the fire, it was a living boar with golden hair. This was Gulenbursti, mm -hmm. <laughs> who gave off light in the dark and could run better than any horse or uh, even through water or air. Sindri then set another piece of gold on the fire as Brokir worked the bellows. The fly bit Brokir Bro Bro yeah. on the neck and Sindri drew out a magnificent ring or Dropnir, which is dripper. From this ring, every ninth night fall eight new golden rings of equal weight. Sindri then put iron on the hearth and told Brookmere that, uh, that for this next working, they must be especially meticulous, for a mistake would be more costly than that of the previous two projects. Loki immediately stung Brookmere's eyelid and the blood blocked the dwarf's eye, preventing him from properly seeing his work. Sindri produced a hammer of unsurpassed quality which never missed its mark and would boomerang back to its owner after being thrown. But it had one flaw, the handle was super short. <laughs> Sindri lamented that this had almost ruined the piece, which was called... Mjolnir. Mjolnir. 
Junge. Junge. Ja. Is that how you've been saying it? Yes. Okay. Or lightning. Nevertheless, uh, sure of the great worth of their three treasures, Sindri and Berkir made their way to Asgard to claim the wages that were due to them. Loki made it to the halls of the gods before the dwarves and presented the marvels that he had acquired. To Thor, he gave Sif's new hair and the hammer. Uh, to Odin went the ring and the spear. And to Freyr, and Freyr was happy, was the happy recipi recipient of Skidblimir and Gullenbursti. Uh, they were very grateful to receive these gifts, especially the hammer, which they foresaw would be of inestimable help in their battles against the giants. They nevertheless concluded that Loki still owed the dwarves his head. Uh, when the dwarves approached Loki with knives, the cunning god pointed out that he had promised them his head, but not his neck. Prakir and Sindri contented themselves with sewing Loki's mouth shut and returned to their forge. Yay. So that's the story. <laughs> no, <all right. laughs> um, so, so the hammer kind of has boomerang qualities. It, it always does, returns yeah. to Thor. Yeah, it always goes back to Thor, because that's who it was bestowed upon. <sighs> Okay, here we are. What happened there? What happened? Yeah. We did this. Mm. We did this. Okay. How about Odin and Frey? Cool. <laughs> well, that didn't. All right. Okay. So Frey is the queen of Asgard and the highest of the goddesses. Uh, her home is called Fenslir, which means Hall of the Marshlands. Uh, she's married to Odin, and her father is. Somebody. Georgian. 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 Bless you. I'm sorry, all right? She's the goddess of motherhood and is herself the mother of Baldur Hodor and her mom, which we have one of. I didn't say anything was bad about it. Um, so we'll go him. All right, so <coughs> that's his mommy, right, and his daddy. Um, beautiful and just, he was the favorite of the gods. Uh, most legends about him concern his, his death. Um, they tell how the gods amused themselves by throwing objects at him, knowing that he was uh, immune from harm. So that was his secret power. Um, he, no one could harm him. There were only like two ways to kill him, one of which was that spear that we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. um, that I'm not going to say its name again. <laughs> if you want to know its name, look it up yourself. <laughs> um, all right. And his wife, and by wife I mean concubine, um, <laughs> her full name is Nana Neps mm -hmm. Or Nana. <laughs> She's a goddess associated with him in the prose Edda. Um, uh, they coupled and produced for study, okay? Um, she is the epitome of grief, so that's kind of her, her thing is all about grief. In fact, she feels grief so strongly that when he was killed, she died of grief. So, of a broken heart. So, broken heart syndrome, basically, um, killed her when, her when her lover died. And I say lover because they, it doesn't actually say that they're wife, that they're husband and wife. It doesn't ever say anything like that. Some of them do, like Odin and Frigg, it says that they were married, right? And so um, Thor. At, right, but some of them don't ever say that. So, anyway, so Forseti um, is the presiding one, presiding one, um, or president in Icelandic um, speak. Um, he's the god of justice and reconciliation. Uh, he is also one of my personal gods that I call upon. So, um, especially because uh, justice is kind of my thing. So, <laughs> in most of the different pantheons that you can go to, if you ask like who I'm drawn to, it's usually always the god or goddess of justice. So, anyway, so that's where where he comes in. Um, we're gonna kind of ignore them mm -hmm. um, just because no one ever talks about them or anything. 
uh, other than to say, go to this, God damn it. Gosh, dang it. It's here up there. I don't know. I was wondering. Okay, so uh, uh, Buri is the ruler of prehistory, the first god and father of Bart, right? who is the father of Odin, um, Billy V and Juan uh, <laughs> let's go with that. And uh, also uh, his consort was Vesla, okay? Then you put Honeer on there when that's to the left of Odin. Oh, I didn't see it over there, I'm sorry. He's gone, mm -hmm. there's not two of them. <laughs> um, and then, let's see, so for Billy and V, uh, V is one of the three gods of creation. Creation. Um, and then you have, you have Billy and, and Odin, which are the other two, right? So, Odin's the All-Father, everybody knows that. Um, and if you don't know that, then you can only have Montana. Um, but he's the god of war, right? And then you have the God of revenge. Sorry, I was pointing over here. If that makes sense. All right. So that is this. And that is a lot. Okay. Uh, oh, maybe we'll go Scotty real quick. Okay, so you go to Tyr. Okay. So uh, she is the goddess of winter. Of the winter. <laughs> and then he's the god of sea, wind, fish, and wealth. Um, and he was actually killed in Ragnarok. Um, and if you want his full name, go bam, bam, bam. Yeah, Umlauts. Umlauts, maybe? Um, all right. Uh, Freyr is the god of fertility, um, and his consort was uh, Hero, or Jiro, or Jero, or however you want to say that. Okay? Um, and then you have Freya, um, is the goddess of love, fertility, and battle, and Odor is her consort. Holy shnikey, that's a lot. Okay, I'm getting rid of this, okay? Okay. Okay. Do you have questions? Any questions? Oh. Oh, oh sorry. Oh. Uh, all of them? He says always. Oh. <laughs> all of the questions. Yes. Cow. Freya is the one that last week, um, when I did the how to start class, she's the one I said her catch line should be, if you can't lay them, slay them. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. <laughs> but which Freya were you talking about? Freya. Okay. I mean, like, the are you talking Norse or are you talking Celtic? The, the, the patron of crazy cat ladies? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Her cherry is full by cat. It's true. Um, I wish I had a picture. It's like Carol over here. <laughs> okay, so we talked about Baldur, Baldur, mm -hmm. uh, god of beauty, innocence, peace, and rebirth, okay? Um, he was killed by Loki, who tricked his blind brother, Hodor. <laughs> Hodor, blind, Game of Thrones. Yes, uh, Hodor. <laughs> anyway, um, into killing him with the spear. Um, his consort was Nauna. Mistletoe, right? Yep, the spear, uh, the spear had mistletoe on it. So, apparently mistletoe between, I don't know if it's mistletoe by itself, or if it was the spear, or if it was both of them together. From what I've read, it was... Uh his mother made all the things promise not to harm him because he was so pretty and well loved. Yeah. And mistletoe, because it was kind of an innocuous plant that no one paid much attention to, she forgot to exact the promise from it. Uh, yes, yes. So it was the mistletoe, but yeah, uh, that's how he ultimately met his uh, um, demise. Like I said, he um, they would throw things at him or try to hurt him because he couldn't be, and that's how he ultimately died. Was by mistletoe. And then at Christmas, what do we do with mistletoe? 
Okay. Piss under it. Piss under. <laughs> okay, so uh, Boar, who we just talked about, Bragi was the goddess or the god of poetry, music, and the harp. So, and that is. She's the daughter of Narvi, and <laughs> she actually has many, many children. So her children are uh, Dagger, Dagar, Dagar, uh, <laughs> yeah, Al, Al, oh my gosh, you guys, this is just going to be a, that's a deep, <laughs> this is just going to be us attempting or me attempting to <laughs> spell now. things yeah. and pronounce things. Jord. 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 It's your It's your because the J is Oh yeah, it would be your Yurt. Alright. Yurt. Yurt. Okay, um next where am I? Um the goddess of healing. <laughs> Air. Air. Easy there. I know, I keep hitting it. Okay, uh, hold on. Before I say what this is, I hope that you guys actually know. Someone. Oh, 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 oh. It, it, it's like Easter, a story. At, as. No, yeah, that's yeah, exactly. A story. So she's the goddess of springtime? Yeah, springtime. So this is where Easter comes from. Mm -hmm. Yes. Makes me happy, don't ask. <laughs> this one's super easy to say. Ellie. Ellie. It's probably not how you say it, but probably. okay. That's the goddess of old people. So she, <laughs> of old age. So she takes care of the geriatrics. <laughs> you okay, Jesse? She has a big convalescent <laughs> home in the sky. Yeah, right? <laughs> Um, well, isn't that hell? Wait. <laughs> uh, Frigg sure. is the, I don't know if I said already, but the um, goddess of marriage and motherhood, mm -hmm. right? And also be pronounced Frigga. Frigga. I can't. In my, in my. Yeah. Okay, her consort was Odin. Mm -hmm. um, and then Fulla was her handmaiden. Um, and she is there to just take care of people. Um, can you see this at all on there? Yes. Yes, the blue actually. Yeah. Except from the beginning of that G. It's kind of going weird. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell it's a G? Yes. Jeff Young. Jeff Young. Jeff Young. Jeff Young. Jeff Young. Mm -hmm. Goddess of fertility and the plow. Yay. <laughs> Don't forget the plow. Whatever. Um, we already did that one. That was a whole did we do hell already, you guys? No. We have not you know what she is? Goddess of the underworld. She's the queen yeah. of Helheim, which is the yeah. Norse underworld. You never heard daddy is? Her daddy? Isn't it? Wait. God damn it. Isn't it? No. I don't know. Uh, 
Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? Can't remember. Your daddy's Thor. That I was right. I mean, oh, not Thor. Oh, that's right. I lied. Her daddy's that. not Thor. Her daddy. Damn it. I didn't mean to say Thor. Fire is Loki. Daddy is Loki. Loki. Okay. Hell, okay. Mischief, chaos. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> we went that. We went yes. there. We went there. Uh, we went there. Oh. Here. Flynn. 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 Uh, is the goddess of consolation and protection. Aw. Yeah. Uh, oh man. Well, right, right. Yeah. Oh, that. There we go. A full better, oh, right? Yep. <laughs> anyway, oh, um, God of Winter, and he was killed by his volley. Um. Oh yeah, I love these these letters right here. I'm gonna do it this way because it's easier. <laughs> okay, so he is the silent god. So he is um, what a lot of people think of as like, like monks, how they take that vow of silence type thing. That's kind of what he did. He was just there in the background. He took everything in, um, but he never, he never spoke. He never imposed his will, he never did anything like that. What do you mean I'm going in a circle? You've now made it a circle of names all around Gethy Young. Gethy Young? All right, um, where am I? Okay. <laughs> in your circle. Oh, I already got there. Um, where? Bye, Maxine. Bye, Maxine. Okay, the god of inspiration, okay? So if you are really needing something, that's who you should call upon, okay? Uh, if you could say his name. Anyone? Kavasir. 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 I know that's now called, oh. isn't it? Uh, anyway, he was killed by dwarves. Dwarves didn't like him. <laughs> because they couldn't say his name. <laughs> Barry kept giving inspiration to their designs. <laughs> She uh, was the goddess of forbidden love. Forbidden love. Maybe between like a god and a horse. Or, or like, or maybe she blessed a tree. Yeah. You know. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Magni. Mm -hmm. And who is his daddy? Correct. Thank you. Very <laughs> went there. It's like a game of who is your dad named Lucky. <laughs> totally. Not my wife actually named one of our parents Maggie. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. This is uh, Odin's uncle, Mimir. Um, and he was decapitate, decapitated, <laughs> decapitated um, by the veneer before they became one. Um, <laughs> okay, can I give her this? Thanks. How about tear? A tear is far too down the line. Can you tell that we're on ends? Yes. Hey. Well, look. Man, you're just like all the ages. Yeah, you're just like the kids, man. Yeah. In my opinion, Hella kind of gets a bad rap, too. Always. Yeah, she's like a bad. Right. She's also the one that takes care of children that die before they get a chance to become yep. warriors. Or, yes. You know, those that aren't. That can't die in battle, battle any longer. So yes. it's funny because you know how there's, everybody talks about like Valhalla. Everybody mm -hmm. wants to get to Valhalla. Yes. Well, Valhalla is not the only place, right? Mm -hmm. And not all places are bad, even though they sound like they would be. Right. Like Helheim, not always bad because there is someone that is loving and caring there that is trying to take care of the innocents that end up, right? Mm -hmm. So, 
Well, isn't she kind of a duality in this aspect of her is fury and punishment and the evil and wicked? Uh -huh. And then but the other side of her is the loving mother. Some people uh, actually liken her to Persephone as well, um, which is a totally different uh -huh. pantheon. Um, but um, Persephone is, you guys know who Persephone is? Yeah. I've heard of it. Okay. So um, she spends half of her time, half of the year in hell and half of the time oh, in yeah. um, Olympia, Mount Olympia. Olympia Star. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's right. Okay. I have that. Anyway, Olympus. 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 Thank you. There you go. So she is showing the dual, the same duality. Um, and so if you were to go like through the different pantheons and find out who would be closest to who, uh, Persephone, Hela, um, and then uh, like the Morrigan. Um, would be the Celtic version because mm -hmm. the Morrigan, everybody sees her as just bad, but she's not. Mm -hmm. That's a really weird correlation, though. Yeah. Like, just in my head. Okay, mm -hmm. but not. Mm -hmm. We'll talk later. Well, the Morrigan, what does Morrigan for? She's a lot more for the battlefield to me. Okay, so. I mean, her cries kill people. But, but what does she take care of? She does take care of the dead, yes. And especially the warriors. Besides then, that's like a Valkyrie. Yeah, but does. children. Yeah. Okay. Um, or if you go on and you go into like Christian Lilith, mm -hmm. you know who Lilith is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so those are all ones that can kind of go to him. Mm -hmm. Holy him! Oh, I'm not picking that up. You're gonna have to later. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I lied. I forgot the letters. Nervous. Nervous. Uh, is a goddess. Um, her name is connected um, to them, but no one really knows anything about her. The only time that she's really mentioned is by Tacticus. Um, and so she is listed as a goddess, but there's not any real information. There you go. Sad. Oh, and no, did that one, did that one. Where are the S's? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, she's the goddess of wisdom. And a lot of people feel like um, she is just another name for Frigg or Frigga, right? Uh, that they're the same person, that there are two sides of them, of, of her. Um, my personal feeling, after reading a couple of different things about it, is I feel like her and Fred were maybe like twins, and so they are a lot like the same person, but not, if that makes sense. <laughs> That's my opinion. I don't, everybody should form their own opinion on it, especially with Norse. Um, oh my goodness doesn't do any good when I'm just messing with it. <laughs> this one's funny. I'll take your word for it. Oh, yeah, I know this one. This one makes me laugh. Okay? Good. So she is the goddess of fidelity. Like, <laughs> wanting to be, you know, um, like mono. So she's the chase one of everybody? Partner? Yeah, look. That's not the word I was going for. Monogamous. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Loyal to your partner. <laughs> Monogamous starts out mono, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> In more ways than one. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> okay. Do you? Wow. Guess her, who her, her husband is. Well, probably not Loki. It is Loki. Oh, it's oh, Loki. No. <laughs> the poor woman. So she's monogamous to him. She's all about fidelity. <laughs> poor thing. She's all about it, but she. Happy all Just stress. leave it there until the end, please. <laughs> um, where am I? So, anyway, so that's really funny to me. Um, though. It's no wonder she is. Though, Loki was apparently actually pretty fantastic. Uh, I have no hard feelings. 
Anyway. Hi, Donna. I also Donna. did not live in North Side, so I could possibly have issues. Uh, did there, did there. Okay. Why does it only go with if you do it one way? holding the cap off of it for too long, and it dries out for a second. Sinatra? <laughs> Sinatra. Sinatra. Uh, she's the goddess of prudence. Soul. Sun. Yeah, sun. Yeah, I've heard that. She's sun. also known as Suna. Suna. Um, she was swallowed by skull. Oh. So, yeah. Um. Oh. Yay. Where's the deal we go? Oh, yeah. Yeah? It's here. Yeah. Okay, so anybody know um, what tier is good for? Good for? <laughs> What's it good for? Nothing. Sacrifice. He's dead. Okay. Yeah, apparently I'm going to be sacrificed. <laughs> My gosh. Uh, anyone know what tier is? <laughs> or it's like keeping oaths or keeping your word. Uh huh. Uh, a bit more as well. So he's the god of the war. He is the god of the skies. Um, he is uh, very much known for if this is what you vow, this is what will happen. So you don't break your oaths uh, or your promises or you know whatever it is. Uh, your word is your bond type thing. Um, Tuesdays. He was very much <laughs> and Tuesdays. He was very much. Um, concerned with the formalities of war. So like treaties, things like that, as well as justice. So once again, um, war to have war is not not in his wheelhouse, I guess you could say. Um, and it is pronounced tear, like the tear of a cake, or, oh, I guess it would be easier to be like, there's a tear coming out of my eye. Right. That's a little bit easier. I've heard people call him Tyre, and that oh. is weird. Oh. Um, anyway, so um, he also, more than anyone, personifies law and order. Um, his role uh, is kind of minor in the more the mythology goes on. Um, at the beginning of the mythologies, you'll hear a lot about him. And then the more it goes on, or the later it gets, you'll hear less and less, right? Um, he was, in my opinion, one of the most important. Um, just because he kept everything kind of together. Um, so the, sorry, the, prince, the three principal war gods in the Norse were Odin, Thor, and Tyr, okay? Um, so you had the one that was in charge of like the fighting and the and the, the battle, right? Um, so the general that gave them the orders or things like that. You have the one that made sure that it stayed what it was meant to be, I guess. And then the one that ended it, which is the treaty of whatnot. So without one, you couldn't have the whole thing. Uh, so one of the poems in the Poetic Edda, uh, the Valkyrie is Sigurdrifa? <laughs> instructs the um, human Sigurd to invoke Tyr for victory. So um, there's also another one that um, has Loki insulting Tyr by saying that he could only stir people to strife and could never reconcile with them. And that was like a slap in the face, basically. Mm -hmm. So that was him like saying, oh, you're not good at your job type thing. Um, we get Tuesdays from him. Uh, I kind of like Tuesdays. Because Tuesdays equal tacos. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh, each, I don't know if you guys know this, but each day of the week can have someone. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, come from Norse. Yeah, yep. Like Thursday? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it a Thursday? Wednesday? Yeah. <laughs> True. Isn't Friday for uh, Freya? Right, yeah. Well, depends. Okay. But yeah, usually it's Freya. Yep. I can't, it's over there. Uller. And I keep Uller, which is um, 
which is really funny because um, Di, her cat's name is Uther, and every time I hear her say it, I think she's talking about him, which is really weird because he doesn't like to go outside in the cold, and he's the god of winter. Um, <laughs> um, and the hunt and the duel. His mommy is sick. Um, <laughs> uh, Var, she's the goddess of the contract. So it's really funny because a lot of legalese is in Latin, right? But there are actually several different um, legal contracts that are the tort of Var or the, um, the agreement of Var, different things like that, which is all her. Okay? Um, and then did that one, did that one. <laughs> and then this is the one that I can't pronounce, that I attempt to pronounce. <coughs> Eat them still. Yeah, but you don't do it with like a, a Norse, you do it with like a Romany accent. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. As the goddess of life, tree of life, and she connects all nine worlds. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Amanda. And then, just because I feel like this is an important one, and by important I mean because I feel it's important. You're teaching the class. True. <clears throat> so it's important to you. Is that an H at the beginning? No. No. Oh, this one? No, the very that first one? letter. No, the that first, one? first letter. Look, you don't see that? Well, now you don't, because it's gone. <laughs> Whatever. A. And it's, the line is here. Is it and Primnir? <laughs> Primnir and Primnir. He was the cook of the gods. <laughs> Woo! That's why I, mm. I like food. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Everything, the feasts of the gods, that's where they came from. So, anyway, hey, um, awesome. that is what I have, unless you want me to go over lesser known ones, and then I would actually have to look, up, look them up. However, um, so some Norse gods, goddesses, um, that people reference as gods and goddesses are not actually gods and goddesses, they're pseudo gods and goddesses, so they have a, um, a higher place, but not as high as the gods. Um, there's Astralic, which is um, um, love and, and things like that. Uh, Jofur, um, which is uh, akin to Thor. There is um, Brono, who claimed to be the, go the god of the daylight and the son of Baldur, however, is not. Um, that was proven later. I don't know how. Whatever. Uh, Girondor, uh was. He claimed to be the follow of the uh, the father of the Billow Maidens. Um, hold on. Billow Maidens are. Um, Dang it. <laughs> um, okay, they are We just ha I just had their names. They're the Wayne's. But I was trying to figure out or find all of their names. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, so he says that he yeah. is the dad. Um, when in all actuality he's not. Um, he, just wanted, he just wanted to ask me to. Um, and then, um, and then Laga, who has always claimed to be the goddess of wealth and springs. However, in all of the prose um, and the sagas, there's no mention. The only time that there's one that's even close is actually in Celtic. And that is um, Laha, which is the Celtic goddess of the springs and wells. So.
Done. Okay. Yay! Yay! Bravo! No encore. You're exhausted. <laughs> um, so I feel like that class needs to be um, How do I followed know? up with just a mythology mm -hmm. class, which needs to be followed up with runes. Yeah. So then that kind of... So in case you didn't know, pantheons are not like the the mythology, the things like that. Um, I have to throw a little bit of that in because it bothers me for just going, oh yeah, you can stop that. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. There's no button on here. Uh, thank you guys know. for watching. Oh yeah, thanks. How do I make it not go? Bye.